guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another Calmari video and um, we're going to be tackling the odor wear portion of clothing. I have two areas that we keep all of our odor wear in and that is in the hall closet and then the bench when you enter the home in the kitchen. So I'm going to take the camera and show you the areas that we really need to power down on and declutter and I hope that you continue to watch. If you like this video and all the other Calmari content that you've been seeing on my channel, then please give this one a thumbs up and consider hitting that red subscribe button if you haven't already to join my YouTube family. It would mean the world to me if you did. So let's get to cleaning. <laughs> Okay, the first stop is the hallway closet just right next to the front door. We don't use that door, but this closet is a complete disaster. Oh, I am ashamed at how messy it has gotten. So I'm going to take everything out of this closet and uh, see what we can get rid of for the outer wear. And this is the other location that I have in my home that we keep some of our outer wear clothing the boots down there it is winter so a lot of the bins we switch it out so depending on the season but i'm going to take everything out again because there's no way we wear all of these when i think about the way we used to be when i think about the things it took for me this is everything that came out of this closet I can't believe how much we had stored in there it's a pretty small closet so this is everything and now I want to show you the bins before I completely empty these they are filled each of them are jam-packed and there's one bin per family member so I'm gonna take all of this stuff out and lay it down to see what I have no wonder those bins were overflowing. Here is everything that I had jam packed into there with the exception of just a few mitts and two scarves that were in the other closet. But look at the sheer volume of stuff. So I'm gonna go through each of these items and see what we can donate or just simply get rid of and I'll check in when I finish. Okay, and here's the after. This is all that I'm keeping. A few things right there. And this is what we're discarding. <clears throat> so now I'm going to fold these, just the winter items, and put them into the bins that we're using out in the mudroom area. And the other ones I will be folding and putting into these clear bins labeled spring. And we switch them out when um, that season happens. They're easy to access. It's not like they're stored somewhere where we can't get them. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so this is what the bins are looking like right now. I was not sure how to actually fold the items, but I just did my best in the Kamari method. And this is Connor's, Maddie's, mine, and Matt's. I just laid our umbrellas on the side there because, you know, you can get some rain in the winter. And then I was able to consolidate all of our ball caps and baseball mitts and the two pairs of kids' gardening gloves into this bin here um, and one side it is labeled spring hats but it was nice I was able to get our baseball mitts in here so once spring hits we'll be able to bring it down and then switch it out with um, our bins and we usually keep our ball mitts in our bin during spring and summer just so they're easy to get to 
now to tackle this this is what I fear I just there's so much and there's matte jackets and I can't decide whether or not they spark joy for him regardless if he wears them or not because it's not my place so here I go Finally finished with the Kamari declutter for the hallway closet and outerwear portion of this series and I'm going to show you the bag that I have to donate and the closet and then the mudroom space in the kitchen area where we uh, enter the home on a daily basis. Okay so one garbage bag filled with stuff to donate. I can't believe how much stuff we had that was taking up space. These are the empty bins that I am no longer using, but I'm not going to get rid of them because I am still going through this process and I may use them in another area of the home. But for now, I'm just going to keep them in another location. And then here is the hall closet. And this is what it looks like now. Now it's not organized in the exact way that I would like it to be organized, but I am not worrying about that until after I complete the entire method. So starting from the top, there are two bins now. That one there is spring hats and baseball mitts. And that one there, it says winter hats, but it is not. It is um, sporting gear. So a baseball, hockey tape, extra uh, laces for skates and golf balls and in that one there is uh, swim goggles. Uh, most of those need to go over to my in-laws because they have a pool. Those two larger bins are stacked inside each other and they're empty. They are for the kids winter snowsuits when it is no longer winter and I put them there because I know that we will be using them. And then as far as the coats go uh, Madeline needs a new one. She doesn't have one. Connor only has two. Really the abundance is myself and Matt and I'm hoping that Matt will get rid of a few once he gets home but for now all of my coats spark joy so I did not part with any. On the side I was trying to figure out where to put the hockey helmets and I just used some 3M command hooks and hung them on the side of the closet. Not sure if that's where they'll stay. That racket is um, Connor and Matt's squash rackets. This is a picnic blanket that we use in the summer and behind it are um, bags, like backpacks. Shoes, which we normally never stored in here, but I am now. And um, I, I would like a better method for this, but for now it works. Our skates are on the bottom and I should also put a bin up there because once winter is over our skates will be packed away. I have to figure out something for that. And then on this shelf here we have our swim bag, Matt's bag that he takes to basketball, and this bag that Connor takes to squash. These are our three most accessed backpacks and I like to have them clear where I can just grab and go. This is the area that I'm seeing the most improvement. We have our wicker bins up top there from Target and then here on the hooks we have my coat which is the only coat there because everyone else is wearing theirs. There is a pair of ski pants there. They are Maddie's. She is having a hard time letting go of her size 4. So they're an extra size 5 that I have hanging there. Um, and when she finally parts with her ones, purple ones she's wearing now, then they will go to donate and she'll wear those. Um, Matt likes to keep his ball cap out so I just hung it there. And on the side is my purse. And then we have nothing on the bench. 
and the only shoes that will be here are our winter boots that we're wearing now and what I'm thinking is taking away the shelf and just having an area underneath just for our boots so that is it that is my Kamari declutter for our outerwear hall closet and mini mudroom bench in our kitchen I hope you enjoyed and if you did please consider giving this video a thumbs up and if you're enjoying the content on my channel as of late please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below to join my YouTube family it would mean the world to me until next time I hope you have a wonderful day evening whenever you happen to be enjoying this video and as always take care we'll see you soon now bye